What has been your favorite moment as a Richmond kicker? Um, my favorite moment as a Richmond kicker is definitely uh, signing day. Um, it was pretty much one of those things when you know that, you know, you're going to be, you're basically looking for a team all in the off season trying to figure out uh, what's going to be a good fit and signing day was just a relief knowing that I'm going to be a Richmond kicker and coming to a professional organization. What is your favorite spot to hang out in Richmond? I'd have to say my favorite spot to hang out in Richmond so far has been uh, the James River Park down on Buttermilk Trail, the mountain biking trail, Belle Isle, and uh, everything down that way with the Rock Park as well. It's probably been one of my favorite spots. Who on the roster would you not want to live with? Oh, easily Matthew Delicott, without a doubt. Um, he's grimy, he's dirty, he's smelly. I'm not even sure if he takes showers half of the week. Who is the worst golfer on the team? I haven't been with everyone yet, but I'd have to say Jamel Wallace, without a doubt. He has zero finesse. Uh, even with the ladies, he's got zero finesse. Overall, he's just, uh, he just can't golf, without a doubt. Best place in Richmond to take your girlfriend or wife to out for a meal? I'd like to say that the best meal she's going to eat is in my kitchen, the meal that I cook. But uh, other than that, I'd have to say Maldini's over on Forest Ave with my buddy um, Marcello and uh, Massimo. What would you do with a million dollars? I'm a pretty logical person, so it's going to be a pretty boring answer. Uh, I'd build a house, um, I'd make some investments in the market and in some local business. I'd pay off all my bills and then probably the most exciting thing I'd do with a future wedding, I'd probably hire my band of choice, whether it's Ra Ra Riot or Shout Out Louds. Who is your BFF on the team? Oh. <laughs> It's a pretty young season so far, so it's hard to tell anything like that, but I'd have to say uh, Mike Callahan and I get along pretty well. Uh, we're away roommates, and, and we enjoy some good laughs together. Matthew Delacott and I were teammates before, and uh, we have a standing relationship already. Uh, I'd have to say Ryan Jones and I share a couple good laughs together as well, and Ronnie and I see eye to eye on a lot of things as well. <laughs> Best way to spend a day off? Uh, <laughs> outside with the sun shining, uh, feet up, extra large coffee in one hand and Nuki Brown in the other hand and uh, jamming out to some good tunes. Road trip you're most looking forward to? There's a lot of good road trips. Um, probably say Rochester just because I used to play there and I got some good friends and some ex-teammates and they actually owe me a dinner. What is an interesting fact about yourself that people may not know? I got a lot of interesting facts. Um, I'm a music geek, a really, really big music geek and I love to catalog and collect music. What would you sing in karaoke? <laughs> I'm a big avid, uh, I'm an avid karaoke singer, um, but I'll only sing one song solo and that's Violent Femmes' uh, Blister in the Sun. Which of the seven dwarves are you most like in the morning? Do you know what the seven dwarves are? I have no idea. I really don't. I'm not grumpy, that's all I know. I'm happy, I guess. Who has the worst taste in music? Oh, that's easy. Um, especially within the past couple days, I'd have to say Sasha Gores. I heard him listening to, um, what's that guy's name from Baywatch? 
Do you know? Do you know? Uh, David Hasselhoff. Yeah, David Hasselhoff. I heard Ronnie listening to Celine Dion, and then Yambi was listening to Million Vanilli. Um, so easily all three of those. Who is the best dancer? Jamel thinks he is. Like I said, he's got no finesse. Um, I'd say Stanley's probably up there. Edson Elcock's probably up there. But I'm going to have to leave it up to the boss man, Lee. He's probably got some moves up his sleeve that nobody's seen yet. Mm -hmm.